on this, isn't it? Saturday in the ten. Well, not so much fun <laughs> as a bit of a chore. Well, I mean, we are just members of the public observing stuff. But it does bring its moments of clarity. One of those, I suppose, would be um, that's actually classed as a, a hard hat area, and yet you're not wearing yours. And it's a health and safety executive thing where it's a regulation that hard hats must be worn at all times, same as foot protection and eye protection. So, how comes you guys, some of you guys, is there a hierarchy where some of you can get away with not wearing your hard hats behind? In a hard hat area, or it's is it? Hard hat area. It is a hard hat area. It says so on the front gate. There's a big sign telling you what you have to wear whilst you're in there. One of those is uh, hard hats must be worn at all times. It's a health and safety executive thing. Um, it's a regulation, a very important regulation. Yet you guys seem to think you can walk around without them on. I wondered if you could comment on that for us. You can't go by signs though, can you? Is it Jack? No. Yeah, you can't go by signs. No, because you've got fracking signs on the oar, front of your front Yeah, but, but the signs that you're supposed to, the signs we're talking about are actually government um, stipulations. In other words, they're like health and safety executive regulations that when you walk onto a site, you're supposed to have like protective clothing on. And some of you guys, you know, you walk around without your hard hats on. I just wondered if you... You know, it's, it's not about signs, it's about your own health and safety and the fact that you are, uh, well, not brazen enough, brave enough, I think, to walk around without ARDATs on in an ARDAT area. But because it's all down to, um, you know, legislation and law and, uh, and lawfulness, um, the law requires that you wear a hard hat whilst you're in there, but you don't. So doesn't that make what you're doing unlawful? Anyway, I mean, it's, it's just a moot point. It's just a discussion point. I just wondered why, why you guys don't feel that you need to wear them. Uh, yeah, no, well, no, it's all right. I mean, it's just a question. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm confused, like, right, you know. Um, I get all the... Well, at least everyone's back to work now, so it gives us something to do. Stops us having to chase around the security for something values wise. But uh, after last night's 540 flare off, which was like absolutely massive, are we likely to see another one that big? Because like tonight's one was pretty cool, but it wasn't as big as like the 540 in the morning one yesterday. That was like fucking jet engines taking off, that was pretty impressive. Like, I've never seen anything quite like that before. That did blow me away. Like, it was breathtaking. I tried to say something. Do you know what? The only video that fucked up was that one. That particular one. I had seven or eight videos from start to finish. And the one with the most spectacular like, looking um, flame and fucking overspill I've ever seen. And the video fucked up, so I was quite gutted. But, um, you know, hopefully we'll see some more. Anyway, nice talk to you. Yeah, well,